All right, what's happening live again? I'm going to show you how to create a first time home buyer funnel for loan officers. So if you're a loan officer or if you are a mortgage broker and you're looking for a way to generate mortgage leads, real estate leads specifically for first time home buyers, then stick around and that's what I'm going to show you how to do right here on this video today. All right, so let me just jump in and be able to share my screen and I'll show you I'll show you exactly how I do this. So first thing is I have to decide where I'm going to run the ads, okay? Um, I'm just using a stately because you can download JPEGs. Um, you know, you can download the photos of houses. Excuse me. What you want to do is wherever you're going to market this ad, you want to search houses in a different city that have similar houses. So for example, if I'm going to go and market in Arlington, Texas, like in Dallas, Fort Worth, then maybe I could look up houses in Austin or San Antonio or Houston or somewhere else, right? Um, so I'll just do that and I'll just look up San Antonio. All I'm doing is I just want to get a house that's going to be that's similar to what people expect for Dallas, but is not the exact same house, you know? Um, the more normal the house, obviously the better. So I might use one like this right here, okay? This looks, this house is great for what I'm trying to do right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, actually, I like that one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a different house real quick. All right, this house right here. Ugh, so it's got a weird thing in the front. You can see sometimes you gotta do a little bit of digging. Okay, this one, this one will work fine. All right, so let me save this photo real quick. Grab a little screenshot. I'm doing that so that I can cut off that, uh, you know, copyright stuff that's down there on the bottom. Truth is, this picture is not the best, but it will work for what I'm trying to do here. All right. So I'm going to show you. Oops. So let me show you exactly what you got to do now. So I'm using Complete LO. The reason I'm using Complete LO is because all the Facebook ads, everything is already built in here. The ads, the targeting, the automation to convert the leads afterwards. Everything is already right here in the system. Okay. So I'm just here in my test account. All you got to do is go right here to manage Facebook ads. By the way, if you need an account, visit completelo.com. You get a seven day trial. So check it out. We'll help you get it all set up and working and everything before you ever have to pay. All right. So I'm just going to click on manage Facebook ads. And when I'm in here, I can go to new campaign and I've got first time home buyers right here. All right. So you can see we've got a couple different versions in here. So I'm just going to go with version three. And we just have to put in a little bit of information, right? So look at some custom values. So what city do we want to target? So I'm going to go after Arlington, uh, current year 2023, and the state name, Texas. All right. Again, my budget I'm usually recommending is $11 a day. At least for me, that's what I found to be like the sweet spot for Facebook ads, uh, that you get a little bit better results if you spend $11 a day versus less. But if you're on a really tight budget, you can spend like five dollars a day. That would be fine. You could totally, you could totally make that work. Okay, uh, whatever website you want people to go to, I'm just use Ticket Mortgage for now. And now down here we go into optional info. So we want to go into location targeting. So you can, where do you want to target? I'm just going to go for Arlington. I'm going to try to put Arlington, Texas, and see. All right. The ad media, you can either use what's already on the ad template. You can click on client media and you can use a photo that you have, or you can upload and you can pick the one that you just, the one that you just saved a second ago. You can use that photo. So I'm going to upload that one. So there you can see that. If I click on this, we can actually see the ad text. So I have 5,500 in the bank and want to own a home in Arlington. Now look, if $5,500 in your market is not enough money, then change the number, okay? Just change it. You can rewrite it, 6,500, right? Or here, we could change that to 6,500. But just think about what could be the lowest amount. If somebody could get some seller assistance and things like that, you know, we don't want to scare them off, but we also want to be realistic. All right, last thing, privacy policy. I've already got my link there. If you're in the Legion of Loan Officers, of course, we give you a privacy policy. Otherwise, you can use the one that's on your website or you could use the one that, you know, if you build one, there's other places to build one online. But like, that's it, right? So I'm going to click launch campaign. 
the whole campaign is going to be built out and I'm going to come back here in just a second and I'm going to keep, sh I'm going to get back to sharing my screen and I'm going to show you how we're going to build out the automation um, that's going to convert the leads after we actually, after we actually generate the leads. So give me just a second and I'll be right back here. All right, back in action. You can see the campaign was created successfully. So now all I've got to do is I'm going to go connect the Facebook ad to automation so that when the lead comes in, we can be able to convert the lead into an actual conversation because truth is getting the leads is easy. Converting the leads is where the challenge comes in. And that's the reason why I recommend complete LO because it'll just help take care of that, you know, help take care of some of that for you. So what we do is go into settings. We're going to connect the form first. Uh, so I just go into integrations, Facebook form fields mapping, and you can see it's going to be the one right here at the top. Okay. So we just find these fields. Are you working with a realtor? Where are you looking to move or when are you looking to move? So we just save that. And now all that's connected. And then last thing is we have to go and do the automation. So we go into automation. All the, all the workflows are already inside of here. So you can see right here, first time home buyer workflow, duplicate this. So that's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to just create it first time home buyer workflow. And I'm just going to put like Arlington TX and I'm just going to write test here. So I know for later, oops. And now what it's going to do is it's going to make a whole copy of that. So I'm just going to, let me just move it real quick and then I'll show, and then I'll show it to you. Oh, it must be on the next screen. Let's see. Okay, here we go. First time home buyer workflow. All right, so what we're going to do is in here, you can see first thing is we're going to add a new workflow trigger. So the trigger is going to be a Facebook, it's going to be Facebook lead form submitted. And then I'm just going to tell it what form, what form to use. And so that's going to be, you know, this one right here that I just, oh wait, let me go find it. Let's see, 125. So it's going to be this one right here that I just made. I'm going to hit save the trigger. I'm going to assign it to a user. Again, what's cool is if you if you're doing this and you want to round robin your leads, you can select multiple people, right? Then when you come in here, you can split the traffic either equally or unevenly and you can decide how many people how many leads should I get versus how many leads should the next person get. Right? So you can you can kind of decide that amongst yourself. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to hit save action. And then last thing, I like to come down here and add a tag. I, I usually add the state because I'm running ads in multiple states and kind of helps me keep up with that. And that's it, right? So I'm going to hit publish, save that. And you can kind of see that, you know, what's going to happen is all, you know, all this stuff is going to start firing out, right? Do they reply to the text? If they do, what should we do? If they don't, keep sending out these messages and we're going to try to convert them for an entire year. All right, so you can see we have the account or we have the automation live here. So the ad is live on Facebook. The automation is live and published. So everything's working. So I was just going to show you what it looks like. If you come over here, you can take a little preview if you want to see if you want to see the ad on Facebook. So you can kind of see kind of see what people will be seeing as the ad comes through their news feed. So basically it looks like that, right? Pretty simple. They're going to click on learn more, get it, fill out the form and they'll take, it'll take them straight into your automation. So, you know, it's going to go through this workflow here. They're going to show up in your contacts as people come, as people come through, they'll just be listed right here in your contacts field and make it real simple to keep up with them. So that's how we're doing first time home buyer campaigns on Facebook today. If you're a loan officer or a mortgage broker and you're trying to figure out how to get your own exclusive leads on Facebook. If you want your own mortgage leads, I recommend doing first time home buyer ads. It's one of the simpler ads that generate leads for usually a couple bucks a piece. Um, and they're, they're, you know, leads that realtors love to get as well. And a lot of times you can even get realtors to start pitching in on the ad spend. So you don't have to be the only one paying, you know, paying the money. So uh, if you want a seven day trial, just visit completelo.com get a seven day trial. You'll meet with my brother, Brian. He'll get you all set up, um, show you exactly how you can do these campaigns that, that we've been showing you here. Um, and yeah, hopefully this was helpful. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.